Steven. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5-2 fight. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, just misses with the kick. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Good punch land. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Poirier gets tattooed by that straight punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time grabbing kick like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Fourier's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Misses with the left hook. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Poirier does a better job when he's the guy going forward. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, how good is that Poirier jab? He's got huge hands and certainly was able to find the home for his jab there. I mean, the king of Lafayette has got it going tonight. Dustin Poirier fights from the southpaw, but he's a right-handed guy. That's why that jab does so much damage to his opponent. Now right, two next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks. All right, round two is now upon right. us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Poirier. Oh, nice. Poirier gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Still nice body kick lands. Big knee lands there. Oh! Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Blocks the shot. Out of range with that one. Oh man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Just over three minutes now to go. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him.
lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick. Every time he Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Good head movement there. Nice slip. Ooh, blocks the shot. Ooh, big shot lands. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopped. Oh, all right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. It's the elbow there. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of... All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Poirier gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. So he's really starting to put together... Punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Big off once land. Now he gets back in range. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter. Take the judges out of it. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. 